Hey guys, we're Roger Bears and welcome back to the FIFA 18 Liverpool Crew Hard Picking up again. And where we left off after the games against Leicester and Copenhagen. We've uh, Newcastle and Sparta at Moscow in this episode. If you saw the last so you will know. I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm I've been kind of struggling with this uh, with the with the patch. I think they've re they've either improved Hello, is defense is his name alongside me. with the patch, or I'm just having an off week for this game today. It is the, one of the great what I've done is I've played some games outside of the Newcastle. career mode. Oh, just to get me, just in case. Kevin yeah. Keegan uh, slumped over the advertising hoardings. Classic four. I'm still struggling. Uh, well, I hope we get a bit more of the but, same. You know, I kept Newcastle United's lineup. Rob Elliott plays in goal. I didn't. I, I play about four or five games until I finally smashed it. And it's taken. And, right and just so. In, as a, in case anyone's wondering, as my name makes it 1-0. Oh. Um, I play against Premier League teams. And, and I, I kept well, it was a, a really playing until a fantastic well, I, uh, well, it's a goal worth replaying over and so over did, again, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty good victory. It was 3 0, but you know, it's better than 1 0. The game did try to put me against Newcastle, but I was like, eh, probably not a good idea. Now, Atsu. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into the area. If I, if, I, if I can figure out how to. Great credit to Watford, who, for the first time, managed to stay up a bit relegation in the 15-16 uh, season. And here they come again. Well, they flew out the blocks, didn't they? Nothing. Here's the shot. How did he rip Coutinho? And the ball goes out. Oh! Hey, if I were a little quicker with that turn and shot up with Coutinho, I could have been 2 nothing. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Only partially cleared. So, shots off. He's had to go full stretch. Adam Lallana. Lallana. They've got numbers in this attack. And it looks dangerous. Firmino. Firmino, who works hard to get the ball, has got it now. And look at him go. Coutinho. Coutinho. Looked very good indeed, but get off, Phil. That's down. way too easy to go Supported down. There, he can head it on to someone who's waiting to receive it. Here's a chance to attack. Oh, Firmino. Oh. I did, at first, I didn't think. I don't know who he's uh, who the keeper is. Uh, in my conversation. At first, I didn't think Salah would keep it in, and. Then, uh, so close with Romeo's shot. The corner. There's still danger here after this half clearance. There is more Here's a chance to whip it in. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defenders way too well. easily. Able to cut that out with yeah. um, some sharp movement. Block takes it to Lalana. Emre Can. Shan. Mohamed Salah. Salah. Oh, I thought I was going to get it to Mane. Now they've got a chance in this part Coutinho. of the pitch. Roberto Firmino. Firmino. Liverpool get the advantage. Take a free kick. Very Thank you very much. Kick territory is foul. If I can't uh, do better than I did against Leicester. Coutinho. Ooh! At least I forced a save this time. Rather than hitting it straight into the wall. So that's a little bit of an improvement. 
not a high risk manoeuvre but slightly risky tried to keep the ball here and risk losing it in the defensive third cutting in now with this goal advantage they've now got a corner the, uh, top class save. Horrors, top most, uh, rightfully complains sure about his uh, sharp being pulled it's not really a way not that anyone clearance. gives a shit well that's reflecting their confidence with the lead if it would, it's, you know, considering it's foul, but, you know, apparently not. And that's one for the goalkeeper, I think. Played it back to him. And it is Liverpool's match at this point, but there's a lot more of it still to go. And they'll be wondering whether yes. they're good enough to see this through. Damn it! Plenty of time left, all of the second half, of course. And here they are, on the attack. Oh... Got the tackle Ooh. in. I thought that pass was going to turn back. Hey. Ha. Mohamed Salah. Salah. Both Brazilians wing in the way. middle. The Newcastle defender on there. Takes uh, a good clearance like to get it out of the corner. Or, and nothing else. DeAndre Yedlin. Jose Lu. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. Jack Colback. What happened there? And that's half time. Oh. Maybe I need this more practice. 45 minutes still to go. Second half underway. That's good movement forward here. Manny. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Oh. God's sake. Come away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. I mean, there's nothing wrong with continuously winning 1-0, but, you know. Mikel I need the entertainment value of more than one goal. Mohamed Salah saw it coming, cut it out. Good work. Nathaniel Klein. Daniel. They could have played the attacker in now. Lovely ball. The Firmino. How? Roberto, how did you miss that? Liverpool player John Joe Shelby. Substitution. Start over Jack Colback. I don't know. Alteration to their lineup for the bench. Coming onto the pitch, number 28, Danny Ings. You know what? I, I, I'm, I'm free. Gotten a chance to see if they've uh, fixed the little problem here. Can't really tell if that's wrong from the meters. Needs to Coming up for you on EA Sports. Don't forget, don't yeah, miss look. the coverage of the Premier League fixture. Newcastle United. Uh, They'll be facing Southampton away from home. Fact that he yeah, wasn't really there. Forward to this one. Uh, Three. Some good football before the uh, the patch. The it was uh, a bit insulting to Newcastle. There's nothing to people who think we're having need to do the either. Now they've got a chance in this. Oh, that has to be a. Yellow card fouled. If you want to give him something more, ref, that'd be great. What? Not even yellow. These days, it's not even a card. Is running the risk of the referee. Are you freaking kidding me? Is that a joke? Good work by the goalkeeper. How was that not a yellow card? That's definitely a yellow card. Like I'm calling for a red. That's definitely a yellow card. I don't care who you support. Even if a, I guarantee you, any Newcastle fan watching this will say, "Yeah, that's, that, that, that's a yellow card." It's not a fair challenge. That's not. A challenge. But this is promising. You know, 
He didn't hurt him, but you know, if he did, yeah, if he had hurt him, I would be calling for a ref. But it was definitely a foul. It should have been a yellow. I'm not asking for the world here. I'm just asking for fair punishment for, for a bit of a, a clumsy challenge. I guarantee if I made a challenge like that, it would guarantee he'd be a yellow. Forward thinking from Liverpool, always on the front foot. Oh. Just read the intentions of the there to make the interception. On the balance sheets, there's plenty of profit on the scoreline. It's looking like a loss for Newcastle United, unless they find something in these closing moments. Yeah, the Geordie faithful trying to keep the faith. But I'm not sure the players have down there. Adam Lallana. Lallana. There's good progress with this attack. Could whip it in from here. That's a foul. Oh my god. If he gives me the old card, I might absolutely snap. Coach will be considering his it looks like he's not gonna. I think Newcastle just brought on 45 to make it. Yep, sure did. Liverpool's day, but they haven't looked like doing it because Liverpool haven't let them look like it. Oh. Lifted away by the keeper. Oh. Never gonna go in, was it? Probably not. Doesn't exactly have that in his locker, does he? Well, this attack a menace to it. Whipped in hard and low. Money! Yes! <laughs> no! It's not exactly the most dominating 2 0 victory, but uh, I'll take it. I will 100% take it. Well, it's just a footnote to the match, really. It confirms the win. Yeah, I think the goal scorer would be pleased. Another one for, for his tally late on the match here. That was like a mini goal for me. Me to uh, coming into this match. Get more than one goal. So restarting at 2 0. <laughs> I didn't expect to come in here and absolutely sweep Newcastle aside like there were a lowly no and Newcastle United. Done well under pressure here to I didn't expect that at all. But the fact that I got more than one goal. It's like I said, almost like a mini achievement. Really game to watch. Or a daily exactly objective. Play, yeah, that's not Rafa Benitez. It's what the game's all about. Yeah, and there's nothing better, Martin, than seeing quality strikers go about the work. And uh, we certainly did today. They were at the top of the game. Seriously, why don't they have Rafa Benitez in the game? They didn't even put him in the patch. Arsenal 3, Brighton and Hove Albion 0. It's, Everton it's one, bizarre. Burnley, it one. is absolutely bizarre. Newcastle United 0, Liverpool 2. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Liverpool with 21 points. In second, Manchester United with 17 points. In third, Tottenham Hotspur with 16 points. In fourth, Watford with 15 points. In fifth, rising up the table are Arsenal with 13 points. In sixth and falling are Manchester City with 13 points. In seventh, moving down are West Bromwich Albion with 12 points. In eighth and falling are Chelsea with 11 points. Bottom of the table, moving down are Brighton and Hove Albion with 4 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom climbing the table are Everton with 5 Great. points. Third bottom, Southampton with five. So points. I assume he's still actually going to be here. Yeah, there he is. He's fifth bottom. He just says join leagues with six with points. The uh, when the opens, surely he should just because I'm not going to play him. He should just give up his uh, his jersey. I'm not actively looking for the number thirty-four. 
Her <laughs> useless goalkeeper. Her. Her. Thank you, Middlesbrough. I don't know why they're paying $3.2 million. I'm not gonna... Look at... Look this, uh... Opportunity in the mouth. Fantastic. I only need... Minule and Carius right now. Because I'm only gonna be playing two goalkeepers. Just because I have two teams. This is what I've decided to do... With the second team, I actually need to put, um, Grudge. Why is he down there? Up here, I need to put Grudge in this team instead of... I'm going to put him in instead of Chevelle and move. Henderson. The reason I'm keeping it on the main team up until the game is because if I have it on the second team, the someone in my main team will come to me and say, um, I'm concerned about not playing and I'd be, st which if I were a real life manager and they were if they came to me in real life and they said that, I was like, I'd be like, what are you talking about? You play every single week. In and out, no problem. What are you talking about? I'm playing. And you're not playing me. Do I have two players who look like you with the exact same name? Because I've been playing somebody with your name. Seriously. It's the most annoying thing. They made all these if improvements. And there's still these small things. I don't want to be nitpicky. I really don't. But when they're so obvious. There's... Why? Why is there no option to tell a player, Look, the next game... Is going to be a game where I am using my other options. You're just going to be rested. You're not being forgotten. You're not being dropped. You're just being rested for another game. I'm using my options. I'm rotating. Is that so hard? Why is that not an option? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, I didn't play Joe Matip for the best part of my preseason tournament. He came to me and said, why am I not playing? I'm like, it's preseason, dude. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, Danny. For fuck's sake. I'll release you. I will. And you, you, you need to accept this move to QPR. Because you're... By January, yeah, I haven't gotten another offer. I might have to release him. Because I'm not going to sit around and wait for him. Hmm. How much does my chief... His market value is between 19 and 28. Yet they've offered 17.7. I know I have him listed because I don't want him at my club at all. Yes. Start at 23. Don't sell any look for any less than 19.1. Spurs want. Lovren, for whatever reason, I don't know. Presumably to be a human cone in training, for they're much better for players. And, um, they need to put in the big bucks. I'm not selling cheap to a rival. That's, that's not happening.
Look, Williams, just accept it. Please, just accept it. That's your level. It is. You're not getting a new contract, so you're going to be going down to that level eventually. So you may as well just accept it now. Get a Trent in, see if I can't get him up to the next rate. I think up to a 71. Oh, for crying out loud. Twenty five point two between hmm. See if I can't get a few extra million out of Arsenal. Start at 20. Start at 30 million. Don't sell for any less than 27. few extra quid. Not a whole lot. Will Arsenal be willing to play it? I don't know what the hell Sturge is going to do at Arsenal. Oh. Oh. Um. But apparently Arsenal want him. Gonna be a slightly longer episode with the uh Once again, thanks to the international break. He's perfectly timed and bullshit. Waste the goddamn time. Liverpool more than useful at the moment. And they're hoping to get another victory here. They played very well last time out. Pointless international football that could be easily held during the summer. Don't tell me it can't. You have three months to play in the games you need to play. You can easily play that in the summer months. Don't say, oh, but there's tournaments on. There's only tournaments on every two years. Start with a diamond today. Yeah. But I've seen this manager so often switch formations midstream. There's no excuse to have it during the season. We'll see that again None. Today. Delivered into the box. This is the 11 today for Spartak. Salvatore Bocchetti plays with Seda Tashi. If I were in charge of FIFA, that would be the first thing that I would change. I would. Yeah, I would ban. I was thinking if ban was the right word. Ban there being any international football during the season. It's often the fullbacks who drive them forward in wider areas. Liverpool. 
compliment the defender, but not the player trying to cross it. Three months at the end of the season. He's in. Yeah, I know some leagues won't be over by then, but mo the majority of the ones that suffer because take well, three the to, uh, for the internationals they take it quickly he do they are her most Spot. leagues end in hey it goes out wide again so you know start it then someone in the center he's way off target simple Find a day where all the major leagues will be finished. Yes. Good position there. And it's for well. stuff like the Champions it's League finals, players who again, are competing in the ball. Champions League final will be allowed to leave from the international G, go compete in the Champions League but final, which is way more important than any World Cup. Yeah, or, or Euros, blades these days, you post, and then go back. More. Simple. And, uh, it might mean they have oh. to change Put a fucking brain in, in charge, and mm, you'd be surprised at the results. The manager here has had an attractive offer to manage at international level, but not attractive enough for him, it seems. No, it seems not. A little bit of a surprise, but uh, perhaps it's the extra workload. He, he I'm what, 21? Do yeah. and, uh, his club job I'm 21, and, uh, I guarantee you most of the people in FIFA who... The governing body of the beautiful game are probably... He mid... Mid 50s, mid 60s... He's on the move all the time and makes... Idiots who don't know who... Who the first thing I'm coming up with a decent rule. My next thing would be abolishing the financial fair play rule because it means nothing anyway. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Quick passing from Liverpool to open up the opposition if they can. Excellent piece of defense. Wow, 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 really? Pop off. Fernando. Neatly intercepted. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. There's some potential in this move. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Pop off. Sorry about that, a little uh, well, interruption. Not major. There's the kickoff for the second half of this third match, remember, in the group stage of the Champions Cup. Seemed to be one or two nerves about in that first period, but uh, I think it'll, it'll open up a little bit. That's very good defending, and the player had nowhere to go. Yeah, I'll happily take a corner. Uh, and I will bring on Emery Chan. For Nunes. Wait, what? It's a corner! Where's my corner? You fucking idiots! Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Gomez. Beautiful ball. Trying to get oh. the cross in. Nearest defender blocked it. Challenges for the ball. I didn't know Henderson had the reactions of a snail. Jesus Christ. How is this guy a footballer? Got a bit to do, but this is promising. Put in from the wide area. In goal, Artem Rebrov. And an easy piece of goalkeeping. Nice move to get a Oh, that is lovely, Azaria. Could get his cross in now. 
Jordan Henderson. Henderson. Now, Don't let this man near the ball too long. Well, that will mean a corner coming up now. Can somebody come out for the short corner, please? Corner this time. Oh, very easy. Oh my God! Why am I still hitting crosses in? I'm just gonna go short. Cause crosses are. Cross is supposed to be overpowered. I could have sworn I heard people saying that Cross is going to be overpowered. Or overpowered my ass. They can't. They do nothing but go to the goalkeeper. Look at that. Straight away. I'm outside, but I got fur. I actually got the ball in the back of the net rather than ending up in the keeper's hands. Fuck crossing. He's taking a chance, but he's... Oh, wow. 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 That was, that was a fantastic bad decision. You fucking idiot. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Pass one defender. It's looking good, this move. It's an excellent cross. Chance for a teammate now. Oh my god, what was that? What was that? Contact on the ball. That's your attempt. That's your attempt. Ha! I could have done better. And I'm not a professional. Pop off. Chance. Attack here. Slipping it through. Gino Ronaldo. Punched away by the goalkeeper. Well, if this ends up being a win for this goalkeeper's team, he'll be the hero because he's been most responsible. For it's actually laughable. Oh, how bad they play! Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. All level on the scoreline, and Liverpool trying, striving for that go-ahead goal. They've got numbers. I think at best this is going to be another one-nil game. This with a chance to go into the lead now. What a fine save! I say at best. And the manager decides because it's looking like it's going to take until the 90th minute to get a goal. Decided that this time they're going to play the good punch from the goalkeeper from the cross. Gomez, Christensen. Of course not! Practically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. It's a real shine to look. Ings! Thank Christ! It's late! Finally! And none of this guy is complaining! Shut the fuck up! No, you'd imagine that's the perfect time to get a goal all about. Shut the fuck up! It should be about 80 nil! Liverpool, it's just a case of being organised now. Great time to score and take the lead. Oh, not many come the hour. They found the man. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Great news for Liverpool. They are in front. Still 1 0 here. With the time almost. I did say something about this being a 1 0 game, didn't I? Well, Liverpool go up against Spurs. They've been below expectations. Hilarious. Hilarious! Good vision. Oh wait, no it's not! Not in the slice! In a great position to pull it back. Wow! Wow! Wijnaldum! Do you want Nope. Front, but for the goalkeeper, it would have been two. Well, maybe they'll get a bit of belief late on in this game after such a fantastic stop. Really You're fantastically bad. And you wonder why I don't play you. Up for grabs here. Oh my god! Just how? How? For the last time. Uh, like the fans are celebrating like if we accomplished something. Or, or I actually think those are their fans. Because they're wearing white. I think they're... There's uh, 
I think their friends were celebrating the fact that we didn't slaughter them. Liverpool 1, Spartak Moscow 0. Napoli 2, Manchester City 0. Paris Saint-Germain 1, Bayern Munich 2, Anderlecht 0. So oh my god, Williams, what are you doing? Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy, smash the like button if you did, subscribe if you're new, and until next time I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.